Yes everyone, so today is currently day 11 of Ramadan and today is going to be a leg session but I'm going to explain today's leg session that I'll be carrying out last week I couldn't do it because my camera died so now I know, right now I'm just studying again until my first exam which will be May the 5th today the weather's been good in London so that's good but I'm just psyching myself up today for the leg day because today's leg day is going to be intense so I always need to mentally prepare before I head into the gym so without further ado, let's get into the video Yes everyone, so this was yesterday's leg workout which was filmed on the 23rd of April so this video will be released on the 24th but yes, the first exercise I did not record but it was basically adduction machine, 2 sets of 25 I increased the load yesterday so that's a good sign and in this clip, this is my second exercise which is the seated hamstring curl and you may be wondering like why am I starting off with a hamstring exercise before like my main compound squats this is because I feel that and yeah, I learned this from a doc like a, a doctor Mike Israel so he's like a sport physiology he's really intelligent the way he speaks so by doing this you are warming up the knees as well before you go into your main compound movement and also think about doing hamstring curls like at the end of your session sometimes it's not targeted with that great intensity so if you do it beforehand, then you are get, getting a good, um, how do I say, you are basically working the hamstrings effectively and also it doesn't affect a squat, it won't affect entirely a squat, the next compound, so it's warming up your knees at the same time as well. So this is why it's my second exercise, so that's why I've sequenced it in that way. But in this I did three, three sets of 15 and yeah. Except the last set I did 12 reps, but now I know next week what to be because I don't like pausing a lot, so that's that. So now on to my third exercise and first compound movement. I'm doing the machine hack squat, so it's by a company called Matrix, which is possibly one of the worst hack squats to ever exist as at the bottom it is so heavy. The machine by itself weighs 47 point something kg. So right now I've got 32.5 kg each side, so that's around 75 kg plus the 47.5. So I can't do the math right now, my brain's gone. But anyway, it's improvement from last week. So I do three sets of ten. It's my last set. And I'm just keeping just I'm just keep pacing through it. And yeah, this is a really tough movement. I've never done a hack squat before properly. So the fact that I'm using one of the worst hack squats to ever exist in the history of mankind shows that I'm just I just need to get good at this exercise. And yep, someone walks in the way, so that's sick, beautiful, wonderful, just flipping get. The camera's on the floor, you can see it. Sorry about that, I got kind of angry. But, um, yeah, I was, I legit, I'm dying on this exercise. I did find that my heels were lifting sometimes when I was pushing on the floor, floor on the mat. So I had to, um, next time I just have to adjust my foot, move it more up a bit. But that was that, I was basically dying. And yeah, on to the next exercise. So my fourth exercise is another compound movement and it's a hip hinge exercise so I am doing RDLs and for the last couple of weeks when I was in my home gym I transitioned to stiff leg deadlifts instead so I was used to pulling straight from the floor I find myself being the strongest from the floor so RDLs obviously you don't really touch the floor you just keep constant tension like up and down around your shin area depending on when you push your hips back to find like your hamstrings contract etc you don't want to force it, you just want to go where you feel it after. But anyway, this is a PR for me. I did 130 for 10 on my third set. So I started off with 110, then 120, then 130. Last week, I only managed to 110 for three sets and I was dying. Obviously, I was fasting. I was I was doing it whilst in a fasted state. This is after I can break my fast. So obviously, I'm hydrated properly. But yeah, I was proper psyching myself up for this set. Mentally, so I did 130 for 10. And yeah, I'll just let you watch the video.
next exercise followed with some leg extensions. This I haven't done in a while, and I love this. Much. I love doing leg extensions because it just fully like isolates the quads. Again, I did three sets of fifteen. All all of these numbers have improved from last week, and also I need to mention that I have dropped weight. I'm around seventy four point five kg now, which is like it's probably mostly water weight because it's been like a week to around around a week and a bit now. So yeah, it's probably just the water weight leaving now. But yeah, right now I'm currently eating two thousand seven hundred fifty calories. And I've factored in the into the account that like um, my activity levels etc. So I'm just keeping it 2,150. And yeah, I was dying on this. I think this last set I did 12 as well. On the last set I'll either do 12 or I'll do 15. But yeah, after this I did some calf raises standing, and then I did some abductors, and I just called it that day. I didn't record them too because um I just felt like I, no one really wants to see that stuff. But anyways, that was a leg session done. Sorry if these videos are kind of short. There's nothing I'm really doing during Ramadan except studying and just training and working. That's all I'm legit doing. So there's not, there's like nothing to film. Like I can't film myself doing dumb cooking stuff, etc. But anyways, I hope you don't understand. After Ramadan, there'll be way better content coming, etc. Because I'll be have more time after my exams. So thank you for watching. Like, subscribe and comment whatever you want to do. And yeah, I'll see you on the next training episode or Ramadan episode. Yeah. <laughs>